Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is going to be a really hard video. Like, I don't even know how to start it. I don't know how it's going to turn out, and I don't, I don't know what the reaction is going to be to it. But the only thing I do know is you guys need to know. You need to know the truth about Woodmill Incorporated. You need to know everything that there is. And hold on to your seats because it's going. It's coming. So. For those of you who know, uh, actually, first off, I want to give a huge apology to Defaultio. I am sorry for everything that's gone on because I was sure, I was 100% sure that this was legitimate and there was nothing there. So I will start by saying... Woodmill Incorporated was taken about, taken down by D, uh, DC, Digital Millennial Copyright Act, DMCA. And it was done rightfully. It had stolen scripts. That's probably what most of you just wanted to hear. I'm probably going to get some backlash for that, but hear me out. With Hoover and with Akoza, I have been working with them, talking with them. They've been in my life for two and a half, almost three years now. And excellent programmers, brilliant programmers to the point like they, they are smart. They're super smart. Okay. <sighs> they came to me and said that they had had success rebuilding the game building lumber and I told them there's nothing from the original files there's nothing from the stolen files or the leaks or anything like that correct they assured me yes there's nothing there I said if you make a lumber game that's just like lumber Tycoon 2 or at least close enough to that I can enjoy playing in public servers without the fear of exploits and without the fear of base ruining, and all the other stuff that comes with Lumber Tycoon 2. No offense, Josh. Then I would play it. I would play it right alongside Lumber. Because I love Lumber. I've been faithful to Lumber. I've I've dedicated to Lumber. You know? And I've seen this game grow ever since my channel is, like, started. Like, like one of the first, the first Roblox video I ever did on my channel was Lumber. So it hurts really bad when, when I tell this whole story. I was able to go into the files, go into Woodmill Incorporated and take a look around for myself. And with my limited knowledge of what I know about Lumber Tycoon 2 scripts and what I know about Lumber Tycoon 2 in general, because I have seen the leaked files Okay, so I, I should have known in general what to be looking for. I looked, I didn't see anything out of the normal to me. And I said, you know what? If you, if you guys are telling me this is 100% all yours, no textures, no sounds, no models, no scripts, everything is original, go for it. Uh, I encourage you, go for it. Do your best, but make sure you keep it updated and keep exploiters out. Again, no offense to the exploiters. Because, I mean, I throughout this entire process, I've been working with the exploiter side. I've been working with the developer side. I've been working with everyone to try and keep this civil. And there's been multiple parties that I haven't gotten involved in. That I didn't get into the Twitter debates or the accusations or any of that and there's only one person who i truly trusted to say yay or nay and that's default to that's josh okay and throughout the entire thing a lot of the developers were getting caught up with the drama of being told that it's a copy of being told that it's uh just this that and the other i can see why they were upset but all of it was original. None of it was stolen. Why do you care what anyone else says? Seriously. Like, that's that was my stance. And I encouraged them the entire time. 
you tell me it's original. I know it's original. They say it's it's some fake or it's a ripoff. Ignore them. Ignore them. And you know what? Josh, he had one screenshot that I know of saying that he didn't mind an inspired game. But then there was a lot of other screenshots where he had not seen it and did not say that. So what was the truth? What was really going on? See, and this is what I mean. I'm, I'm not really good at explaining this. Truthfully, 100%, I was behind this game. And I encouraged the developers. I was part of the, the team. I was trying to keep everybody on track. And when a whole bunch of people started to attack Noob Legion, I'll get to you in a second. Whenever they started to make fun of and cyberbully and go after people's girlfriends, that's when I started getting a real big problem. That's when this was no longer feasible to just try and push along. I encouraged the development team. And in fact, I got uh, a group chat together with Josh directly, with Defaultio. I had the developers and Defaultio in direct contact with each other to show we have nothing to hide. Here it is. Here's everything there is. And I really wanted to see people find out that Josh had the developer role, that he had access to the files. I was really hoping, like, look, he's he's there. I didn't want anybody to say anything. Just, hey, here we go. This is this is going to be the cherry on top. This is this is the ultimate because I trust Josh and I trust his judgment. I know that if we had an original game, everything was there and it was just good, he would back me up on it. He found scripts. He found exact copies of scripts. He found similarities to scripts that were almost identical. If you were to take two programmers and say, hey, sit down, do this, and create this effect, do this inside the program, you would have two completely different scripts. The odds of two developers sitting down and being the designers and everything following through with the exact same script is nil. There's, it's an impossibility. And yet here they were. So, to Hoover, you lied to me. Let's move forward. Learn from your mistake. I am sorry. I'm sorry that I pushed you so hard that you couldn't come to me and say, Code, this is not a good idea. Because you could come to me at any time. Josh could have directly contacted me anytime. I had open communication with pretty much everyone, everybody involved. If there was ever a problem or any kind of suspicion, I would have thrown it up in immediately because I've said it in the past, I've said it before, and I say it now. I do not support Lumber Tycoon 2 clones, the ones that are stolen from the scripts. I think it was extremely unfair how it was happened back in... 2017, the Roblox data leak or whatever it was, I'm mad at that. And I'm super mad that there isn't some kind of auto program to check for those scripts. Like, it just irks me to no extent. And now I promoted one of those. That hurts. That hurts me as an individual. That hurts my reputation big time. And I can't fix that. I can't. The only thing I can say is I'm sorry. I am personally sorry for pushing Woodmill Incorporated as hard as I did and not, not seeing the scripts that were there, not seeing something. <sighs> to everybody that was criticizing me. Uh, whenever I ignored your tweets and when I ignored any kind of response to some kind of criticism. I'm sorry. I also don't feel like 
I had to respond to any of you because the only person's opinion that mattered to me was Josh. And I let him down. This doesn't mean that I'm going to cut Hoover out of my life. This does not mean that he's, you're done, go on your way. I'm not that kind of person. If you've ever watched my channel, if you know who I am, if you know what I do, is it just the good kids and the good people and all the nice cities of the world that I appease to? No. Is it just kids that I try and like put my demograph into? No, not at all. In fact, if any of you in this stream in this thing have never lied or never done anything wrong and never made a mistake then fine you can throw me as much hate as you want but if you've ever made a mistake admitted to it and then moved forward to learn from that mistake then don't say anything because there's nothing that needs to be said it's done and I support it 100%. The DCMA was correct. Josh showed uh, showed us the uh, the full on document, not the 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 watered down version that we saw. Um, but he came he came to us and he said, "Here, I hope this clears some things up." Showed us the whole thing. I got to see side by side all the comparisons, everything. I mean, it was a thorough report, and I'm glad because when I was pushing for Defaultio to get access. So Defaultio could see for himself everything that's in there. Hoover kind of pushed back a little bit. And you know what? I called him out on it. I said, if there's something you need to tell me, it needs to be right now. Because right now you look sus. And I said that in the text, by the way. I said sus. Which, by the way, I probably shouldn't be using. I'm almost 40. But that's just it. You can choose what to do in your life. You can choose how to react. You can't control what others do. We can't go back and fix this. This is already done. That's in, in the words of Marine Corps, that bullet is downrange. You can't pull that one back. So what do I expect at this point? Um, first off, I expect that I probably won't support anything that's created until it gets approval from Josh that it's not a copy. Um, that has been that has been one of the biggest things. That is the biggest feeling of betrayal. And you know what? I, I, I need to stop because I can't control it now. But for, for all the other developers who were under the guise that it was there was no stolenness in any of it, I apologize to you because that was also my bad for not catching any of the scripts or any of the modules. What do I hope for? I, I hope that this has been a very hard lesson for everybody that's inside the Woodmill Incorporated development team, even myself. I know that this is, this is super hard, just me making the video and coming out and saying anything about it, but that's just it. If I come out and I tell you about it and I say what's happening, then I feel, I don't feel justified. I feel relieved, relieved that I was able to get that off my chest, that I was able to bring something to the channel to give you an example of what to do, an example of how this works. So first off with the DCMA, totally appropriate response. That, that is 100%. A lot of you guys, a lot of people, got really angry like why did defaultio do this even us as the developers go why didn't he just come directly to us but now that i've seen his actual takedown and all the things that we had inside there 100 percent, i back him up in a heartbeat because he's right and he doesn't owe us anything he owes none of the players anything. Like you guys pester and bug me all the time about doing updates and ask Defaultio this, can Defaultio do that? He doesn't owe you anything. 
And I, I took that approach from the very beginning. He didn't owe it to us to come in and check the code. He didn't owe it to us to let us know beforehand that he was doing a DCMA. So there's no fault to Josh at all. If you got mad at him, that was your own personal vendetta against uh, a game that you enjoyed. It's a stolen game. There's, there's no other way to put it. Woodmill Incorporated was stolen. Am I mad? Yes. But the only reason that I'm mad is because I'm deeply hurt. Am I going to get better? You, you bet. I'm going to move forward from this. I'm going to keep playing Lumber Tycoon 2, and I hope to find more games that I can relate to and, and play and, and enjoy like I do with Lumber. Um, God, this is a hard video. And Colt, Akuza, Ver, Veris, Veris, um, Fire, Hoofer, all of you guys. I, I've seen what you guys have done. Okay, and this is this is me bringing it back. I'm gonna build you up. I saw you create anti-exploit scripts that basically destroyed some of the exploiting communities. And to those of you out there who exploit and you came into that game, put down in the comments, like, 1 to 10, 1 being the worst that you've ever seen, 10 being the best that you've ever seen. How was it as far as anti-exploits? I mean, seriously. There, there was a mutual agreement in between the Woodmill Incorporated developers and the exploiting community that said, hey, we won't kick you out for association with being in an exploiter discord or anything like that, but you're not trying to, to push beyond your limits. As in trying to take down the discord for us to take people out of the ban list versus actually just going and doing it with alts or whatever the case may be. It was basically a mutual agreement where we wouldn't give our secrets if they didn't give their secrets, you know, and it was harmonious. That was awesome. I didn't think, I didn't think I'd see a community like that come together and it did. And it did to the point where you both were making diplomatic decisions amongst the two factions. It was awesome. I've seen you guys program some anti-teleporting scripts that are beyond anything I've seen before. The dupes that came in and you guys fixed them within minutes. The fact that you had everything being reported to the Discord, and we could see people joining in real time. Yeah, that is amazing. So don't for one second doubt yourself or think that you couldn't do this on your own. I want to see you do it on your own, okay? You you were really freaking out last night, like Hoover, <sighs> to the point that you were silent most of the night. And you didn't say anything. I don't know if you were like busy, busy or whatever the case may be, but you're not the first one to mess up. You're not the first one to lie to me and you won't be the last. So to you, I forgive you. I forgive you for lying to me. Now move forward. I want to see something bigger. I want to see something better and original. Akosa, you're probably going to be right there alongside him. Keep it going. I've seen some of your, your scripting and some of your C-sharp code. Just beautiful. To everybody else that's inside the Woodmill Incorporated dev team, typical developers, move forward past this. Do everything original and do something awesome. I'm probably going to be there but I'm not going to be able to give you the support like I did. I, I can't. Not, not for something that's copied. That was the biggest thing. It was the one thing. And it's the, it's the one thing that you said that you were very sorry for. 
I cannot play a cloned copy of Lumber. I don't support it. So to the owner of Lumber Taken 2 Remastered, it's a cloned copy. You're not fooling anybody. To anybody that's ever made a, a remake or a copy of Lumber, to anybody that has a copy of the stolen files from back in the day, I don't support it. So, but again, I was just as much part of the problem because I was so sure that we had everything original. Now, take this statement and take this explanation for what you will because Woodmill Incorporated is not coming back. All the player data is gone. And, oh, I do need to address something. Um, the 200 Robux, was it 200 Robux? I don't remember how much it was. Whatever the amount was for access to the game. 800 Robux? I don't remember. I was the one that suggested that, but I only suggested it at the very beginning when people were trying to ask me, how do we get into the game? How do we play it? Let's go, let's go into this game. Let's do this. Let's play it. It was in pre-alpha, everything. It was not ready. I was the one that suggested, hey, if people want to play it badly enough, then let them. But make it known that this game is not ready to come out. You're not coming in here to play a full game. It's going to be buggy. There's going to be things like I made it very clear. And you know what? The community showed how badly they wanted it. There's th uh, thousands of people. Well, I, I don't know if it was thousands. There was a lot of people willing to pay the access fee to come into a game that wasn't even like finished or started yet. That right there tells me that the community, the Lumber Tycoon 2 community, is still alive. They still want this. They still need this game. Whether Josh does another update ever again or not, you guys made it very apparent. The fans made it very apparent. The communities made it very apparent. They want this. This here. This is our home. And this is where we build. This is where we play. This is where we meet new friends and we imagine and we pretend and we have fun. And I come in and talk about stupid adult life things that kids might be going through that you're going to hear on the news or experience in life, whatever the case may be. This is my YouTube channel. I mean, it was stuff before. I've done other things, but when you guys say Heath Haskins Code Primate, it's lumber. This is the this is what video you guys wanted every single day. You want to see me play this and do something awesome inside here, whether it's figuring out a bridge or jumping down in some random hole, whatever the case may be. It's not even the gameplay that you guys follow. It's me. And I'd hoped that we'd had success but maybe i was too hopeful so i don't know if there's any more i can explain um the google doc for the dcma it's probably out there already new legions i know you've got a copy of it and i, I won't go too further with new legions i'll just say there's probably a, a video that's coming out. It's probably about me. Or Hoover. Or Kuza. Or one of us. But I'm not going to give them any more recognition than they already got. <clears throat> probably shouldn't even mention them here, but yeah, I figure I need to. So, again, I apologize. Woodmill Incorporated is gone. It's DCMA taken down, and I back it up 100%. I back up Josh. Love you guys. I, th I think 
I think I've done the best I can to kind of explain it to everybody and explain the situation. And thank you for the support. For those of you who were behind me. And also to the ones that were trying to fight for me. I did tell you back off. Like, th there's no need. There was no need to fight for it because I was sure that everything was original. That it, it was what it is. And I backed them up. 100% I backed them up. You, you have gained my trust over the last year and a half, two years. Is it okay for me to say, yeah, you tell me that you're, you're good on this and we'll move forward. <sighs> Learn from the mistake. Learn from this. And if you plan on posting some kind of lumber tycoon to clone, don't do it. Because I'm not going to play it. And it's not worth it. So. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this. And thank you for everyone that's been a part of this. Thank you Defaultio. For trusting in me to. Like come to you directly. And let you know everything that was going on. And just for joining us. Like. You, didn't, you did not have to have direct communication with us. We were trying to be open and transparent the entire time. And that was our motto. Open transparency. Honest transparency. <sighs> oh my gosh. That was 26 minutes long. That was that was a long time. So, I'm going to get this posted. And hopefully uh, I'll have enough energy to do an actual video. But this is the truth about Woodmill Incorporated. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon.